Are you thinking about multi-streaming with Mob Crush through Streamlabs? You're beginning to wonder if it's really worth using Mob Crush and Streamlabs. Well, in today's video, my brother is going to share some of his experience and insights when it comes to Mob Crush. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, but it's definitely not doom and gloom. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you stay tuned to today's video. I'm Dale and this is Live Streaming Tech. And if you wanna learn more about live streaming across various platforms like Twitch, YouTube, DLive and beyond, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss a single video. Not too long ago, my brother Walt shared a little bit about multi-streaming using Mob Crush in Streamlabs. And it was a fairly intuitive process. In fact, actually, we'll leave a link in the description down below so you can actually see the whole process. But someone actually had asked, is Mob Crush really all that in a bag of chips? So that definitely bared merit in looking into a little bit deeper about some of the features that are available and maybe some of the ticks that are involved in using Mob Crush with Streamlabs and OBS in general. Okay, so today we're gonna to review Mob Crush. Now, I know a lot of you have been waiting patiently for the review itself. You wanna know what I thought of the app through Streamlabs OBS. And I got good news and bad news for you. And that is why I'm holding this roll of toilet paper because there's some poo poo when it comes to Mob Crush. So first let's go ahead and talk about the good news. The good news is, is I didn't really find any glitches or hiccups when using the Streamlabs OBS app Mob Crush. I did do the paid version and now it is free. So that's even better news for y'all that are wanting to check it out. It is free to use through the Streamlabs OBS app store. Go check it out. The one thing that I did run into was uh, it took a little bit longer than the setup than I thought it would. I figured uh, with Streamlabs OBS being automated and very user-friendly, I figured the Mob Crush app would be so as well. But it wasn't super hard. It was just time consuming. And once you have that done, it is very easy to title it and save. And that is the tip. Make sure you always save before going live because if not, it will not send it to the multiple platforms that you are trying to live stream to. Now, for the bad, for the straight up poo poo, I use OBS Studio as well to stream. So I will do my lazy streams as I call them using Streamlabs OBS because there's less bells and whistles, less going on. It's just me either playing games with the, with the viewers or engaging the viewers, talking to them while playing a game and less bells and whistles, where I have a lot of bells and whistles going on over when I'm using OBS Studio. That is where I have my stream deck set up and a lot of uh, memes, that kind of stuff is going off. Uh, just a lot more stuff. I even have the instant replay set up through there. So I wanted to try to use Mob Crush through OBS Studio. If you go to their website, they have a step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up Mob Crush for OBS Studio. I did this. When I would go to stream using OBS Studio, I ran into the problem of drops. What I mean by that is my stream would drop, would stop streaming. My viewers would no longer see it for anywhere between five to 20 seconds. Now, I don't stream very long when I do go live. I do a two to four hour stream normally. So I'm not asking for a lot when I'm looking for no drops. Now, it did do it once over in Streamlabs OBS. I don't know if that was through Streamlabs OBS or my internet provider or Twitch or, you know, whatever. It, something went wrong and it only did it once. Now, where it was doing it four or five, even sometimes six times when using OBS Studio. Cool thing was, is I didn't pay any extra money to use it over on OBS Studio. It is free to use when you go through their um, their internet page. I would definitely say stay away from it if you're using OBS Studio or just be warned that you're going to have a lot of drops. Now, I know a lot of y'all are probably sitting there thinking and you're probably ready to blow up those comments saying, well, Walt, you are probably using more resources using OBS Studio than you were Streamlabs OBS. And you are absolutely correct, but the amount was very minuscule. I'm talking anywhere between 3 to 5% more CPU and a little bit more memory when it comes to the RAM. So 
I really had to try to reduplicate this and find out why it was happening. So I went and checked my settings in Streamlabs OBS to make sure it was identical to my studio, which it was, same resolution, same frames per second. I even went as far as to stream the same game and nine times out of 10, I usually stream around the same time of the day as well, uh, usually 4 p.m. Eastern time. So I don't know what gives when using their free version for OBS Studio. Now, I keep saying free version because back when I tried Mobs Crush for Streamlabs OBS, it was $3.99 a month. Now it is free, so you have nothing to lose to try it. Now, Beware though, if you are a Twitch partner or an affiliate, remember when you stream, Twitch owns that content for 24 hours. So it could be kind of a big no-no to multi-stream to multi-platforms. I stick my neck out there, I take risks, and I try to do that for myself, just as far as experimenting goes, and you, the viewer, as well. So just do it at your own risk or pick a day during the week to do these multi-streams to multiple platforms and just leave Twitch out of the equation. Maybe tell your Twitch viewers, hey, on Fridays, I'm going to do a multi-stream on YouTube, Facebook, Mixer, uh, pick one. I will meet you there, but I will not be over on Twitch. So that's the kind of way to get around that. Uh, but as far as you wanting to multi-stream to multiple platforms all the time, I would definitely say be wary of that if you are a partner or an affiliate over on Twitch because it could possibly get you into trouble. So just be careful on that. And another thing you need to look at is you need to check out this video right here where my brother talks about Restream IO, another multi-streaming tool that you can use. And he tried out the paid version. Go see what he has to say about that. I've tried the free version, it's not bad. We're gonna test it out one of these here. Now, a continuous live stream enables continued streaming past Facebook's eight hour limit, but...